Hello and welcome. This is Anna's Travel Talk and I'm your host, Anna Hoy. And I'm not only a vacation specialist, but I'm the owner of Vacations by Anna Dream Vacations. And thank you for joining me today. So today I have the privilege of bringing on celebrity cruises. Have you ever been on a celebrity cruise or wanted to go on a celebrity cruise? Well, did you know that they are award-winning and 12 years running, they've been voted the best premier cruise line and they are known for modern luxury. So joining me today, I have the lovely Nancy Faulkner with over 29 years of experience. And fun fact for you today, she is an avid animal lover and has two dogs and a cat, and who knows, maybe a few more. We'll see what we can discover today. So come on board, Celebrity Cruises. Welcome, Nancy. Well, thanks, Anna, and thank you so much for inviting me to uh, join you on this segment today. I truly oh, appreciate it. Oh, thank you it. so much. I know you're a busy lady, and I appreciate your time. And, you know, in the beginning, I talked about the fun fact of your two, your, uh, two dogs and your one cat. In the beginning, you were telling me a little bit about them. What uh, type of dogs do you have, and what are their names? Well, um, we have two teacup Yorkies, and one is Coco, and the other one is Chanel. Oh, cute. Uh, you know, <laughs> the one weighs in and a total of 3.2 pounds and looks like a little dancer and then her sister looks more like a football player she's five and a half pounds oh wow how fun and then you They're said you have a, a cat as well I also have a cat her name is Chrissy because she was born in the month of December just before Christmas that's cute I love how you name your animals <laughs> that's adorable so now I wanted to start a little bit with what do you like best about being part of the celebrity family? Um, I probably say it's the fact that as companies go, celebrity is very family oriented. Um, I don't feel like I am just, you know, an employee, a cog at a big wheel. Our bosses treat us like family. And that resonates throughout the entire company. It resonates through our staff on the ships. We've had clients that will call up to see, hey, can you tell me when so-and-so head waiter is going to be, you know, are they going to be on this ship or what ship are they going to be on? Or are they out on vacation right now? Or they'll call to see what ship and what captain will be on a particular ship at a particular time because they want to sail again with that captain or that head waiter or even that cabin steward. Uh, because they've created these relationships on board where they're like family. That's lovely. That, that says a lot about celebrity. And um, I love the title of New Luxury. So I'd love to, to get into this and, <clears throat> excuse me, let's learn a little bit more. So um, what do you have for me on the next slide? Are you going to uh, tell me the celebrity difference, I believe? Well, you know, at Celebrity, we have five main pillars that we focus on. And those pillars are the way we deliver the destinations to our guests, and the destinations that we take them to. It's very, very important to us. The excellent design of our ships, um, as you can see pictured here, this is the plaza on Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex, our newest ships. It's the central focus of the ship. Um, next is the retreat. The retreat is an experience. It's not just a category of staterooms, but the retreat experience, it's all of our suite class, categories. It is, um, it starts with the entry level suite, all the way up to the top suite on the ship. And on edge and apex, that's the iconic suite. Everybody in the retreat gets a butler, they get access to their own private dining room, Lumine, they get depending on the ship, if it's been revolutionized already, they get their own private sun deck. Wow. They have their own private lounge. I mean, there's a lot that goes with the retreat. And then based on the category within the retreat is additional amenities that they might get. You know, the yeah. upper suite, the upper level suites will have some more amenities than the entry level, but they all do get the main retreat experience. That sounds amazing. That sounds exactly what I'm looking for on a cruise ship. <laughs> and uh, our culinary experience, our head chef is a Michelin starred chef. And last year we partnered with Daniel Balud and he's done some amazing things on board of our ships. Um, our food is 
all prepared fresh on board from the soups, the stocks to the breads. Uh, I highly recommend the croissants, just saying. Um, <laughs> nice little insider tip. <laughs> hey, got to share those. They're really good on the ship. It spoiled me for any other bakery. It's, it's really a shame. Um, but truly, between specialty dining, the restaurants themselves, there's so many options when you're on board when it comes to dining. And then wellness. Um, wellness is very important to us. So we actually have a series of staterooms that are called aqua class. And with those, you have special privileges in the spa. Um, you have aqua class. You have special privileges in the spa, um, including free access to the Persian garden. Anyone else on the ship has to pay to get a pass, and that includes suites. Only Aqua Class has free access to the Persian Garden. You have special tea menu, pillow menu, fragrances for your state rooms, because it's all about taking care of yourself and relaxing. So again, wellness is a very, very important part of our program. Yeah, that sounds like that would be uh, an amazing group experience. Absolutely. Mean, uh, uh, like a ladies retreat or something, a women's getaway. Yeah, we get quite a few of those, actually. We've gotten food groups. Uh, we have restaurants and chefs that have put together groups and brought in their following of people. We've had wellness groups. Uh, we've had groups of ladies who have booked just the retreat because they're going for the optimum service level on board the ship. And um, we've even had groups that have been a destination focus. Yeah. So it just kind of depends what they're looking for. Absolutely. Here's just a couple of pictures from Celebrity Edge to kind of give you an idea of what our ships look like. Um, the top left-hand side is the rooftop garden on Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. Wow. On some of our other ships things that we have and I don't have pictures of everything Anna knows I can talk for hours <laughs> so we're trying to you know keep it to a minimum here but you know our um, solstice series of ships they have a lawn the lo they have a long actual grass on the ship with a lawns keeper you can do giant jenga bocce ball picnics on the grass jazz under the stars I mean Every series of ship has their special thing to recommend them. Yeah. Um, again, you see a picture of the plaza, which is the central focus of the ship. Uh, upper right-hand corner is our pool deck. And you really can't see it in this image, but that little white shape that's in the left and right-hand corners, it's actually a set of butterfly wings. So everybody will go on the ship and take pictures in front of the butterfly wings. In fact, when Apex comes out later this year, instead of the butterfly wings, it's actually the heart. Oh, and people nice. can stand within the outline of the heart and have their little group picture taken or do their selfies or whatever. And then bottom right is just Eden. Again, that is an edge series feature, but this is at the back of the ship and it is three stories. And you have that so it's sort of like an observation view. lounge type feel. Well, actually, it, it changes a little bit, whether it's morning, noon or night. And it's playful. It's chillful. And downstairs, the bottom level is a restaurant in the evenings. During the day, they use it for cooking demonstrations, things like that. The area you're looking at is the middle level, deck five, and there's a bar in there, a lounge. There's even a small like sandwich breakfast area included on that deck. And then the third level is more just walking along the windows. There's a couple areas where you can just sit and relax. And that you just have awesome. those views out the window. And it's that view out the back of the ship. Not the front of the ship, but the back of the ship. So you see, you know, the water behind and uh, it's just so relaxing. I yeah, that's an amazing now. view. And now these are the two new ships that are coming out, the these, Apex and the, the Edge, correct? That is correct. They are our newest ships. Edge came out last year, 
or is it the year before? Ooh, I've lost track of time. <laughs> um, actually, Apex was supposed to, Edge is going to be out two years come December. Apex was supposed to come out April 1st, but we all know what happened this year to delay things. And she is actually leaving Europe in a couple of days to head towards the coast of Florida. Oh, that's so, wonderful. That's good news. Hopefully, we'll be uh, seeing her in the water and sailing soon. Yes, here's hoping. <laughs> here's hoping. I miss cruising desperately. I can't oh, yeah. wait to get back on a ship. And these are so lovely to see. Yeah, they're, they're actually very beautiful ships. All of ours are. Um, just a couple more slides about the retreat. Again, all of the staterooms in retreat have butler service including entry level, which not every cruise line does that. We've also partnered with Forbes Travel Guide. We were the first cruise line to ever be rated by Forbes Travel Guide. And we've put together a program with them. This is actually a picture of the iconic suite on Celebrity Edge. I was just gonna ask you that. That looks yes. like a really large suite. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's bigger than my house. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I know I'm focusing a lot on the retreat, but I just want to make sure everybody understands some of the differences. Um, there's a grid I could have put up here that would show you different types of cruise lines and what they do and don't include in the retreat. But again, trying to keep it to a minimum. But it is truly, the retreat is all suites, every category on every ship, the exclusive sun deck, restaurant and lounge. And I love the lounge on edge. Can you tell I've sailed? Want to go back. Um, plus, if they book the retreat, they get all four perks and an upgrade to a premium beverage package. And that's all part of the price. That, those are really nice um, added amenities. I like it a lot. Yes, absolutely. It makes, it's almost an all-inclusive vacation. I mean, there's still some things that you're going to pay for, like shore excursions and, you know, shopping. They have a really nice jewelry store. Just saying. <laughs> I think that you've been there, huh? A couple <laughs> oh, no, of my times. One. Let's talk about wine and food. Those are my favorite subjects on the cruise. We have an amazing wine collection. You know, there's only a couple of years listed here for Wine Spectator, but we've won awards over and over and over again for our wine list. Um, these are just a couple of brands listed on here. And one thing I highly recommend is the Riedel Wine Tasting. It is an event where you come in and they, you have four different wine glasses in four different shapes. And they take and have you taste wine in a regular glass and then in the in the glass that's designed for that type of wine okay i'm a bit of, of a skeptic and i was like right yeah sure i did it a few years back the difference was amazing it's amazing how the shape of the glass can affect the taste of the wine Who knew and, that? <laughs> yeah i mean really i was like i'm like yeah yeah sure okay you know whatever you say <laughs> so you and, had to buy it and and you did notice the difference that's interesting absolutely so is this available on all ships or just specific ships it's available on all the ships and when you take part in the Riedel wine tasting there is a fee of course but you're given a set of the four different glasses that you can take home with you that's, so, that's really nice it's it's a really cool experience Wow, thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. I'm just trying to give a few insider tips, you know, to kind yeah, of help. Yeah, we love it. We love those insider tips. <laughs> Tell me more. Okay, well, our entertainment. Now, our new ships, Edge and Apex, do not have a traditional theater. It's more like theater in the round. There's no curtain. There's no stage like it used to be. Um, let's see, you can see here, this is the stage in the round. So that's only on Edge and Apex. On all our other ships, it's, just, it's a traditional stage, you know, with the uh, half circle of seating in front of the stage. But um, highly recommend our entertainment. We have gone over and above to update and change our entertainment. I know years ago, Celebrity, mm, our entertainment was okay, but it wasn't really the best out there. And we have worked to increase that so that people aren't saying, well, you know, when I went on that cruise line, 
So <laughs> well, it is truly amazing though what they've done. Yeah, that's awesome to see that they took the input from their clientele, mm -hmm. um, you know, took it to heart and made it, uh, enhancements to the entertainment. So I'm happy to see that. And I see all those awards uh, listed down below. So um, oh, that says something about your entertainment. That's, and, and that's just a few of our awards. Um, I could have thrown it in a slide, but it's like 128 awards in the past year and a half. And Is that all? <laughs> it, it gets, you know, it, it, it just... You don't want to we're be very, We're very proud of our awards, but... <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> you know, I didn't want it to look too, you know. One thing I do want to talk about is our destinations. Yes. Um, we go to Alaska. Europe, both Northern Europe and the Med. We go to the Caribbean, we go to South America, Australia, New Zealand. But if somebody's looking for that ultimate vacation, the Galapagos. Oh yeah, this is on my bucket list and oh, with celebrity. Yeah. I, I've seen the videos and the footage and it is an amazing experience. And I, I think it's probably on some of our audience um, folks that are listening right now, some of their bucket list. Yes. Well. Um, last year, we actually launched the first ever ship that was built specifically for the Galapagos. And to the point where the ship never drops anchor. So there's never any damage to the reefs or anything else. It's a positioning system that will keep the ship in place where she's at. Um, with the Galapagos, we of course have the 10 night packages or longer up to the 15 night package where if you've already traveled down to South America, you might as well go to Machu Picchu while you're down there. Um, I know that's what I plan on doing is doing the full 15 night package, but it truly, the ship is 50 staterooms, only 100 guests. Every stateroom is a suite. And it's just an amazing experience. I could have put in a ton of slides about this. Um, and if anybody's interested, if anybody has any questions about anything, go to Anna. She'll come to me if she doesn't already have it or have the answer. Um, whether it's one of our destinations, about the ships or anything else. But truly, the Galapagos luxury style, you want to check out Celebrity Flora because she is an amazing ship. Oh, yeah. This, looks, this is a once-in-a-lifetime vacation you know this is something that appeals to a lot of folks and as i mentioned a few moments ago it's on my bucket list my husband and i are looking to go as well um it just i saw the the video as i mentioned and it just looks fantastic i read the reviews and i i haven't <laughs> heard of a bad review i i think it's just one of those experiences that you have to if you can you have to go Oh, absolutely. Everybody that has come back, I mean, it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I've seen all the pictures. I've seen the videos. Um, my name is on the list to get on there, hopefully next year. And uh, I just can't wait. Oh, love to hear all about it when you get back, Nancy. Oh, I'll be happy to share. <laughs> <laughs> um. Also just wanted to talk briefly about our healthy sale panel. Um, you, hopefully your clients have heard, you know, that uh, Royal Caribbean Group, which of course is the parent company in conjunction with Norwegian, have put together the panel, which have put together all the recommendations being sent to the CDC in preparation of us getting back in the water and sailing. Um, all this information was just submitted and we hope to, in the next few weeks, have the responses from the CDC so that we can start announcing when we will be back in the water. Yay. <laughs> and some of the protocols that they're looking at, from what I understand, um, starts from everything from on, you know, embarkation day all the way to, you know, the buffet line, the state rooms, the quality of the air. It goes through the whole ship from top to bottom. So I think it just came out, a matter of fact, a couple of days ago, if not yesterday. Well, they sent out some highlights of what was submitted. And um, just to kind of give you guys an idea, especially travel agents, an idea of what's going on. And um, it will uh, hopefully 
get approved as is. And in a few weeks, we can start making announcements exactly what all the protocols are going to be. Um, I can tell you that most likely people will have assigned times to come to the pier to check in because we've got to be able to stagger the crowd. There will be, the buffets will still be in existence. I know this has been a big question that I've gotten a lot. The buffets will be in existence, but you will no longer be serving yourself. Instead, staff will be there to serve the buffet items to you. Because obviously with COVID, we don't want a couple thousand passengers all touching the same utensils. Yes, agreed. Um, you know, I haven't heard a lot else yet. Um, I know there were, I know that they'll be in contact with guests even after debarkation, just to make sure as part of the healthy panel process. And um, that's all I've got on that so far. Yeah, I think they, they really thought this through thoroughly um, with their 11 experts and scientists and health officials. So it seems from what I read to be a really good plan. So I'm optimistic as as you are, Nancy, <laughs> that we can get back to sailing. And I do know, and I'm sure you know as well, that there are ships in Europe and overseas that are sailing currently. They are using some safety protocols. Of course, they have different you know, measures that they have to meet uh, requirements. But I'm, what I'm hearing back is that everything's going smoothly. So I'm very happy to hear about that. And I can't wait for all of this to be cleared up so we can get back to selling as well. So yes, I appreciate we, you sharing that. We've heard some really good positive information. Um, I know MSC Cruises has been in Italy. They're gonna be adding a ship into Greece. Um, TUI Cruises, which operates in Germany and which is actually one of our partner brands. They were the ones to test out how we're gonna do mustard drill now because now mustard drill, for example, you will watch a video either on your phone or in your stateroom. Then you have hours to just kind of swing by and check in where your muster station would be should there be an emergency, an emergency on the ship. But it's not like before where, okay, all the bars close. Okay, now you got to report to this room. You got to sit through this video. You right. have this demonstration. You got to wait for the captain to speak, then the whistle to blow. And then everybody is trying to exit the areas at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I think cruisers are going to really like some of these enhancements and changes. I think so. Forward. Too. I think yeah. so too. And, and the ironic part is we were actually working on that muster station thing before COVID ever broke out. Oh, interesting. Yep. Glad to hear that. So that's all the slides I really have for today. But Anna, do you have any questions on anything I didn't cover? Sure, I do. Do you have a currently in place like a cruise with confidence um, policy? And the reason I ask is because I have... Um, travelers interested in booking their 2021 vacation and I'm, of course I'm advising them that they should book their travels now because many of the folks that had their trips postponed or canceled did rebook for 2021 and with the limited capacities and with the folks rebooking that of course limits the opportunity for them to have the selection that they normally would have and I think that some folks are are wanting to know if there is a cruise with confidence policy available so that should they book their cruise and something unfortunately happens that they're protected. What does right. Celebrity have in, in place? Okay. We currently do have a cruise with confidence program. Um, there's several levels to it. If they book by September 30, and I'm waiting to see if there's been an extension. We haven't heard of one yet, but right now through September 30, Cruise with Confidence is in place. So they can book and then they have up to two days before their sale date to cancel. They have an option to lift and shift to the next year, take their booking and move it to the next year. Ooh, lift and shift. I like that. <laughs> lift, lift and shift. Now the thing with lift and shift is there are some ships and sale dates because it has to go within an eight week window of what your current booking is. So there are some cases where their name may not be the exact same itinerary. So lift and shift isn't always an option. And then we have the best price guarantee. So as long as somebody books within the cruise with confidence period, they have up until two days before sailing. And this is after final payment. Um, after final payment, they have until two days of sailing. Um, at any point before final payment, you can always adjust your rate. 
If there's a better rate that comes along, you can always adjust it. After final payment, you can't. But with best price offer guarantee, what will happen is if it's after final payment, you can get the booking adjusted, but instead of them reducing the fare, they will give you an onboard credit for the difference. That's nice. That's which a is nice a nice perk. little perk, which yeah. we haven't had before. So that's a really nice thing to know about as well. And um, with the cancellation of the cruise, it would be that you would get a future cruise credit for the full amount. Um, the only time a refund would come into place would be if you're canceling before final payment, the refund policy is standard um, or heaven forbid we have to cancel or suspend any more sailings. Um, then of course, there's the 100% refund or 125% FCC that you can get when we have to suspend sailings. But hopefully we're almost done with that process. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, I wanted to, I have a, a note on here that you have a Le Petit Chef. Le Petit Chef. Um, I didn't really do a slide going into all of our dining options, um, but when it comes to specialty dining, and, and please keep in mind, there is an additional cost for specialty dining, but we, we used to have a restaurant called Cuisine. Well, Cuisine is now where Le Petit Chef or Le Petit Chef and Friends takes place. And what this is, is an animated dining experience. So you go in, you sit down at the table, and animation is projected from above the table down onto your plate. So you have this little petite chef that comes out and he's building an appetizer. And when he's done, the server will bring and put that exact dish in front of you. And it goes through entree, dessert. Um, when it's a Le Petit Chef and Friends, you have four chefs, each one's doing a different dish and then they're competing for your applause at the end, like who did the best job kind of thing. Oh, fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a great experience. I mean, obviously because of the animation, it's a set menu, but there is an alternate menu. It just wouldn't match up with the animation that you're seeing. Gotcha. Um, we also have, you know, depending on the ship, either Tuscan Grill, uh, which is our Italian steakhouse, or um, we have the steakhouse on age and on edge and apex. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. <laughs> oh, so um, we have our raw on five for those that are into seafood and sushi. I mean, there are a plethora of options, not to mention all the dining option meant dining options we have on our menus and our main dining. Yeah, room. the dining that's included is pretty, mm -hmm. pretty stellar as well. You guys are uh, celebrity is well known for their cuisine. Yes. Um, and I do have a few of my clients that have special dietary restrictions. And from my understanding, it's just a matter of letting the maitre d' know ahead of time and kind of planning things out. And, and you guys are more than, uh, when I say you guys, I mean celebrity is more than willing to accommodate uh, any type of special needs uh, as far as dietary restrictions. Absolutely. We have vegetarian menu items. We have gluten-free menu items. A good friend of mine, you know, sales regularly on celebrity and she has to be gluten-free and she just goes on, talks to the maitre d' and then the waiter and she'll say, okay, just what, what would you recommend? You know, and then one day he's like, I'm going to bring you something special. And he went and did something with fresh fruit and something else. It wasn't quite on the menu and brought it to her as like a surprise and delight. So, That's you know, wonderful. the staff on the ships is amazing. I have to say they truly are. Yeah. And the onboard experience that we kind of talked about, mm -hmm. uh, in addition to the, the wonderful cabin options, including the retreat, um, and then the entertainment and the dining and all the other features, the onboard experience is wonderful. And as well as the excursions at some of the places that you mentioned, you know, the destinations. Um, so I'd love for you to maybe come back another time and just okay. dive into the Galapagos. Absolutely. And I could even get one of our Galapagos experts involved as well. I mean, because they can really go into detail with details on the islands, the best time to go to the Galapagos, depending on what you're looking for. Um, we have a couple of experts with our company. 
One of them is the director, and she actually launched the program back when we first started going to the Galapagos. Oh, she is definitely would be an expert, oh. a great person to speak with. She yeah, I'd amazing. love to do that because it's definitely wet my appetite. <laughs> well, good. Yeah, maybe we'll go together, Nancy. We'll, hey. <laughs> we'll go on that 15-day trip I'm together. I'm all for it. I am all for it. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Is there anything else you think we missed or any other words of wisdom that you would like to add? Uh, probably the only thing I can think of to add would be, I know that um, some people might be a little leery of booking right now. I understand it's been a unique year and unique is about the best word I can come up with. But um, once we do announce that we are sailing again and going back into the water, the floodgates of bookings are going to open. As we know, a lot of sailings were canceled this year. If anybody's looking to go to Alaska or Europe, those itineraries are going to sell out fast once we are back in the water. Because not only are there the people that were planning to go in 2021, but it's everyone who didn't get to go in 2020. Yes. You know, and so a lot of people have future cruise credits that they're going to, I know once we announce back in water, they're all going to start booking and that space is going to disappear. Yeah. So if absolutely. you're thinking about it, give Anna a call and have her start working on it for you. Because yes, I'm going to put my information in the description below and I'm happy to, to help you get going on your future cruise. And if you have future cruise credits as well, I can help you kind of navigate the waters. Um, but thank you so much, Nancy. I really appreciate you coming on and sharing with us about Celebrity Cruises. And if we've inspired you today, hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified every week when we go live with new content. And as Nancy mentioned, and I mentioned earlier, if you would like some help with your next vacation, please let me know. Uh, myself and my team would love to help you plan the vacation of your dreams. And again, I'm Anna Hoy with Vacations by Anna, Dream Vacations. And let the adventure begin. And thank you so much for watching Anna's Travel Talk. Until next time. Thank you for watching.